Cardinals Burke and Brandt Muller urged bishops to proclaim the integrity of the doctrine of the Church. Catholic bishops around the world need to combat the homosexual agenda in the Church, two cardinals said in an open letter addressed to the presidents of the world's conferences of bishops. Cardinal Walter Brandt Muller and Cardinal Raymond Leo Burke wrote in a Feb. 19 letter that the horrible crime of clerical sexual abuse of minors is only part of a much greater crisis that must be addressed before real change can occur. The plague of the homosexual agenda has been spread within the church, said the two cardinals, promoted by organized networks and protected by a climate of complicity and a conspiracy of silence, the two cardinals addressed. The open letter to their dear brother bishops who lead Episcopal conferences around the world and who are due to meet in Rome from February 21 to 24 to discuss the crisis of sexual abuse of minors. Bork and Brandt Muller pointed to materialism, relativism, and hedonism as the root causes of an agenda promoted by organized networks and a climate of complicity and a conspiracy of silence, the cardinals also acknowledged the role of clericalism in the sexual abuse crisis, which many in the church have said lends itself to, to a culture of abusive power and status. However, the letter said, the first and primary fault of the clergy is not an abuse of their power, but in having gone away from the truth of the gospel, the even public denial, by words and by acts, of the divine and natural law, is at the root of the evil that corrupts certain circles in the church, Burke and Brand Muller wrote. They said that some bishops and cardinals have been silent in response to this drift in the church, and asked those attending this week's conference in Rome if they would also be silent. Burke and Brand Muller are the two living members of a group of four so-called dubia cardinals who submitted formal requests for clarification to Pope Francis regarding the interpretation of his apostolic exhortation Amoris Laetitia, published after the Synod on the Family. In letter, Grant Muller and Burke note that they have not yet had a response to the dubia and suggest that the need for clarification is part of a more general crisis of the faith. Therefore, we encourage bishops to raise your voice to safeguard and proclaim the integrity of the doctrine of the Church, they wrote. A decisive act now is urgent and necessary. The letter was released just days before the worldwide summit in Rome to address the sexual abuse crisis and ahead of the publication of a widely trailed book entitled In the Closet in the Vatican, authored by a French journalist. The book purports to expose a cultura of homosexuality, hypocrisy, and secrecy in the upper ranks of the Curia.